Okay, hello friends. Welcome to our YouTube channel, What and Let. And today we will discuss about uh, performing experiments on the virtual labs, uh, which are provided by the uh, IITs, uh, Kharagpur. Uh, for uh, performing the electronics practicals, for example, we are focusing on the electronics practical as of now in this series. So we will be performing uh, practicals on electronics labs. So for that, I just need to type on uh, your Google uh, Chrome. I'll just type. IIT Kharagpur Electronics Virtual Lab. You can see, I'll get this I'll get the suggestion from there, and then I'll move in. So here I can see that I have reached the window and now I can see several tabs over here so first of all there's an introduction there's a list of experiments and all these things so moving forward I'll go to the list of experiments I can see that there are several experiments over here uh, which I can do of several universities even the AKTU students can do this and the other uh, university students as well because in this uh, current pandemic we are unable to perform practicals in the labs so we can you know uh, do them in the virtual mode it is accessible to everyone so for example I'll be doing today the VI characteristics of a diode fine so I've entered into the VI characteristics of a diode uh, what are the objectives the objectives are that at the end of the experiment the student will be able to explain the structure of PN junction diode explain the function of a PN junction diode explain the forward and reverse based characteristics of a silicon diode and similar for the germanium diode we'll be doing it for the silicon diode today uh, all we know that this is the structure of pn diode a pn junction diode is made by a p type material which is connected to the n type material p is uh, the majority charge carriers are holes and in n the majority charge carriers are electrons fine now we know the function of a pn junction diode in forward bias we know that you know in forward bias the p type is connected to the positive terminal of the battery and the n-type is connected to the negative terminal of the battery the width of depletion region you know it gets reduces and the resistance is less and the current begins to flow and without you know uh, getting into the details i'll just i'll just be focusing on the practical part so i'm just you know wrapping it up and in the reverse bias we all know that uh, you have to connect the n side to the positive terminal and the p side to the negative terminal and we'll see the characteristics of the uh, particular silicon diode today we'll see the plot will come like this and all these things we'll see to it uh, you can also calculate the value of dynamic resistance after that uh, by del vd over del id when the, the plot has been made this is the diode equation that which says that if is equals to is exponential e to the power of vf upon nvt minus one the vt is the thermal voltage that is kt by q is is the reverse saturation current and the if is the current through the diode that is the forward current k stands for the boltzmann constant t is the uh, value of temperature in kelvins and uh, n is an empirical constant also known as ideality factor in some books and somewhere else and you its value is taken between 0 0.5 and 2 it will mention for uh, what is the value we are supposed to take Fine. For germanium diodes, it is considered uh, to be close to 1 and for silicon diodes, it is in the range of 1.3 to 1.6. Fine. So, without wasting much time, let us move forward and move on to the simulation part. Fine. So, as you can see, you will see a window over here and uh, you can uh, go for uh, both the options for example we are going for a silicon diode today so uh, you have both the options either you can go to draw the circuit or you can see the circuit is already drawn and just perform the experiments so i'll i'll show you the basically we'll connect the leads because uh, it will give a better understanding you know to connect the leads as well sorry this wasn't the, that panel uh, we have to go in from draw circuit fine so we'll draw circuit We'll go in from draw circuit and as you can see now there are uh, several connections which are to be done so we'll you know make the connections now let's see just drag just drag the wire from the circle particular node and just connect it to the other it can be easily done so i've connected l1 to l3 next i'll be connecting l4 to l7 next i'll be connecting l8 to l10 and then I'll be connecting L5 to 
L10, L5 to L10 I have connected and after that I'll have to connect L6 to L11, L6 to 11. So this is your L6 to L11 and then I'll be connecting L9 to 11. So I'll be connecting L9 to L11. Here is it L9 to L11 and the last connection will be L9 to L12 fine so L9 is connected to L12 so as you can see that we have connected uh, all the connections now uh, we got to check it uh, check it that uh, our connections are correct or not so we can see uh, we can uh, check the connections and I can see the connections are correct and the important thing which we have taken care is that voltmeter is placed in parallel to the silicon diode and the emitter is in the series with the resistance fine you can also get the instructions from here as well uh, you can get the instructions from here uh, with the help of them you can do the proper connections as also so this is it now we'll uh, select the particular diode this is the diode has been selected okay and now after selecting the diode, you'll have to set a DC level. Uh, you'll have to set a resistance value first. So, for example, I set a resistance value. I say I say 800, and then I'll have to select a DC level, a DC voltage battery. For example, I have taken it to be 0 0.2. Fine, and then I'll add it to the table. I'll add it to the table. I can see that it has been added to the table, and I can find. I can find that uh, 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 their voltage. And the current uh, across the diode is zero because it has still not uh, reached the knee voltage. We all know that this is the value of knee voltage for this particular diode. It is 0 0.6, which means that the current begins to increase sharply uh, as the knee voltage, you know, as the voltage across the diode uh, comes uh, close to the knee voltage. And, and, and the knee voltage is also known as the cut-in voltage. Cut-in voltage, which means that the diode will begin to, uh, you know, conduct the current rapidly and the value of uh, uh, current will increase. Fine. So we'll take a few more uh, readings and then we'll find out that, you know, we'll see uh, that uh, the diode becomes conducting. Now see the value, next value I've taken, it is uh, 0.6 and now I would slightly increase it to be, I j I, I'm just getting, I'm starting to get readings now. See, as it is closing to 0.6, the values are starting. I'll take a few more readings, uh, see. Uh, just vary the D, uh, voltage and you'll uh, see the readings for the IV characteristics uh, which we want to plot. I'll take a few more. So we've taken a few more of them and I think this would suffice. Uh, this much readings are okay for us. So when this is done, you just need to click to the plot. Just click plot. And as you can see that we have verified the characteristics of uh, silicon PN junction diode under forward bias condition. You can see the VI plot. The, the current begins to increase sharply as the values uh, of uh, the voltage reaches the knee voltage. That is 0 0.6. And after 0 0.6, uh, it is increasing rapidly. Fine. So this was for the forward bias silicon diode. Now let us move uh, and check in this particular video. only. We will just uh, also cover the connections for the, uh, you know, the video for the reverse bias PN junction diode. Just check it for reverse bias also. We'll be checking it for reverse bias as well. So see uh, connections we have uh, already uh, done in the last part. So I don't think that we need to cover it now. And now uh, we have uh, taken this uh, particular diode which is connected in reverse bias now. I'll set to a DC level. For example, I've taken a 0.2. Uh, for this, sorry, I have to set the resistance as well. So let us set it at this and you can see just vary it and you will be seeing that uh, you will be getting several values. Just keep varying the voltage and keep noting down the readings and just note the readings and some particular after some particular readings you can go in for plot. Uh, you can go in for plot and i'll take a few more to show you the drop down part as well uh, so i'll increase increase it a bit more yes see i i purposely uh, took the another reading to show you the breakdown part of the diode under reverse bias conditions so this was the uh, you know uh, video in which uh, we learned how to perform the 
practicals on virtual lab uh, for the electronics lab we have done the first practical that is the uh, uh, you know the characteristics of p-n junction diode under forward bias and reverse bias fine and now moving forward you can also calculate the uh, dynamic resistance the formula for dynamic resistance is the del v over del i fine so i hope that you uh, enjoyed this video and uh, if you like this video then kindly uh, like the video and uh, press the bell icon and subscribe our channel what and let and in the next videos uh, we'll carry some more experiments on uh, electronics uh, lab from the uh, uh, virtual lab from the iit uh, kharagpur and uh, we'll provide the link to perform the experiments uh, to you uh, in the chat box and i hope that you people go and enjoy doing practicals over there so thank you so much stay home and stay safe thank you so much